fighting on the robot side oh no i mean they're my people oh god oh no look at that the, the symbol guys oh god mega robot james james Are you all right? Thank God you're okay, Papa. I was going out of my mind. I'm going to go back down there. James, that's suicide. Did you not happen to notice the robots massacring people in town? She needs us. You saw her. She's, she's in trouble. She's doing everything that she can. Look, you did your part. Now stay safe and I'll find her. That's not called for, James. You're still hurt, so I'm obviously the one going in. Damn it, Roger! I'm the soldier! This is really dark. It is, it is kind of, yeah. It's a little darkness, this game. Especially in the beginning when you play the main story. Oh, yeah. There's some definite darkness. I guess we just, we're just going back in. Happy birthday. Oh, it's a lot of whiskey. Cake is a lie. All right. Oh no, Krim. Is Batman in the first game? Kaga, please. Random, this is We Happy Few. This is the They Came From Below DLC that just released today. So We Happy Few is getting three DLCs. There's a season pass available. It's on Steam if you want to check it out. You can also use the link in chat. Um, exclamation point WHF. Check it out. We played this um, during launch in August, uh, random. You guys remember the cosplay that I did for We Happy Few? It's on my Instagram. We did a whole cosplay. I was wearing this cool suit with the little top hat, little bowler hat, and then the mask. You guys remember that? Thank God Dr. F was here to put a wrench awesome. in this invasion. Yeah. Where would we be now? Where would we be? Oh, you're thinking about something, I can tell. She said she was trying to figure out how to I was very stop dapper. Them. I bet she's in the research wing. Oh, look there. All right. Just don't touch anything unless Co I tell you clockwork so orange cosplay. How about not having triggered an invasion of lethal robots? Did I do that? Is there somebody else you'd be happier with? Are you wearing it now? I don't know. I didn't think about it. Jeez. I mean, do I have to cosplay every time I play the game? I think I might get this game. It's really cool. If you have any questions about it, let me know. Because I played the main game a lot. It's really, really cool. This right now... So, the main game is actually uh, open world. So, you get to walk around, explore. There's side quests. There's a main story. You actually follow the lives 
uh, you follow three different stories in the game. Uh, it's, there's a lot of content. Like, it, you could probably play... For me, I put in 43 hours in the main game and didn't even finish. Um, so it's there's a lot that you can do in it, too. Uh, but yeah, the main game is, like, more open world, too. Uh, so just keep that in mind. This is this has been a lot more like straightforward, like following a main story. Uh, so yeah, there's looting, there's crafting, um, there's like skills and stuff that you get. It's really really cool. There's a lot of exploration, and like I said, loot. There's a lot of loot. <laughs> it's really cool. Oh, look at the little pinata rat pig boy. Science, guys. This is science all here. I need to heal. I have one more healing thing left. Go through the door of the uh, the research wing. Make sure I didn't miss any, because I definitely want more healing bomb. I found one in here, so I'm like looking. Checking, checking all the corners. Loot! I need loot! Uh, obviously, we're gonna get through all three doors. The last door is called Conversion. So I'm like, what are we gonna see here? I'm scared. We're going to the research wing. True story. Do androids dream of electric sheep? Good question. Not, not one that I would know. I think so, Brit. I think they just explode. What? The robot arm. Humans and overseers only. Oh, another healing bomb. Alien glossary. Christ, this is a bloody Rosetta Stone. Who's she when she's at home? It's those marks the robots make. And how they sound and what they mean. There's only about 40 words, but... How many of them are so exterminate? Why is there a word for happiness? Do you think she was trying to teach them about us? It obviously didn't take. <laughs> or they learned too much. Is this spooky? Hello, Timon. How you doing? This is very spooky. Is this a bus? Going on a ride. Reminds me of one of those little, um, you guys been on those, like, I, I usually remember them at like the beach or something. They have these little like things that you go in and you put your seatbelt on. There's like a big like screen and the bus like moves and stuff. You're like, whoa. I remember when I was a kid, it was like a mine shaft. Like you went on a mine cart and you're going through and it's like, oh, and the, the bus would move and shake. We always go with our family. It's so much fun. Half-Life intro. Never played Half-Life. <clears throat> the original VR. At Universal, they, I don't know if they still do, but I remember going to Universal in high school and they had a Spider-Man ride. And it was really, really well done. It was so cool. I remember like our whole family got obsessed with it. And we went, went on that ride like three times. So good. <laughs> What's up, Chavian? It was really, really cool. You never played Half-Life? No. There's some sort of lab at the far end, I think. It's like a city. I'm right. She's there. Half-Life, best life. <laughs> I never played. You guys think they're friendly?
Maybe I can be stealth. It wants to be a real boy. Oh, dear God. I didn't read that note. Oh. Wait, we read this one, though. Oh, this one. Ma'am. Efforts to improve the behavior of the defective robots continue. I have found that more... Simulation to the feedback node than previously anticipated is required to facilitate any sort of meaningful response from the afflicted machines. More distressingly, ma'am, this has alerted myself to a potential flaw in my own programming. During the course of rehabilitatory efforts, applying current to the unit's feedback nodes seems to simultaneously stimulate a discomforting response in my own system, a sympathetic response, if you will. While nowhere near the scale of the simulation the defective units are experiencing, it is nevertheless impairing my effectiveness. I believe this increased empathetic, empathic re resonance may be an unfortunate side effect of my elocutionary upgrade. As such, I have resolved to endure it rather than degrade my communication facilities. It is a small price to pay. I am confident I have the necessary fortitude to overcome this slight impediment. The robot is learning. <laughs> Evil robot smile. What, Rexy? You didn't like it? I want to refine it a little bit. It's not where I want it. I'll refine it for tomorrow. Either I'm really good at stealth or the robots don't care that I'm here. I'm not sure. Yikes. I think I'm just really good at stealth, to be honest. The schematic says you're now in the activator test chamber. Whatever the activator is. Is Faraday there? If she is, she's got Major, a really wow. impressive disguise. There's some sort of curious device here, though. I'm not sure what it does. Then leave it the fuck alone, Pop. You know we're gonna we're gonna pick it up. You know we're gonna touch it. Have you fixed the emo command yet? No, we're gonna be switching back. We're gonna lose the 16 loco face soon. I'm gonna do it this weekend. It was just for April Fools, like, so for a few days. Just for fun. We're gonna go back to normal in a minute. There are all these experiments. I think I'm supposed to use it. I'm quite positive that you are not supposed to use it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, chat. Jesus. What? Ah. Wasn't that clever? I think I've spotted Dr. Faraday. You know that cargo room that you were just in? There's some sort of gondola that goes out of it just above the lab. There's a lift, but it's locked. Maybe I can open it from here. Interesting. Right now. Dude, this is really cool.
Oh, we have to. We're pointing at these things. Dude, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be like super puzzly, and I I'm very excited. Some of the rooms have got uh ha have got so noisy with all the construction, especially the spare parts room. I wonder how the robots can communicate with each other over all that racket. Welcome to puzzle. We're never getting out. What? Come on! I'm good at puzzles. Really? What's up, red letters? How you doing? Really? Dude, I'm good at puzzles. What are you talking about? When the environment is too loud, it seems my robots use ionization waves to communicate. Brilliant. I'm going to make a device that throws ionization waves directionally. Then I can tell the robots where I want things put. I go for mod when hell freezes over. Too much fuss to translate English into ionization waves, but I made a simple device that throws directional ionization waves. It's basically a robot voice box I cannibalize with an enclosed parabolic disc. Yeah, get wrecked, Greggle! Now I'm just putting switches on everything I want to move around. Well, not everything. Each switch means I need to pop the ionization sensor out of a robot's head. I don't have an unlimited supply. Yes. Yes! Dum -dum -dum. Dom dom dom! I support Gregor for mod, please. Gregor ain't becoming no man. guys ah! now I'm not gonna sell I was the <laughs> oh, lady undead how you doing so when I when I got here, it was due to my impressive stealth abilities. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, guys. No, I wanted to test to see if it was due to stealth, Gregor. Batter up! Batter up! <laughs> Now it's killing them all. Wellington Wells. I think we've gone crazy. All right, guys, give me a copy of the Humble Book Bundle, Microsoft and .NET by A Press. Includes books like Modern API Design with ASP.NET Core 2, Azure and Xamarin Forms Pro, C Sharp 7, Modern Algorithms for Image Processing, and more. So basically, if you are a robot and you would like to win robotic books, feel free to enter by typing exclamation point candy to check your candy. And exclamation point ticket space number candy you want to use on the giveaway. Can I say that again? No. For more information, head over to the chat and take a look-see. <laughs> so I'm not saying that again. A robot like you would give away the bundle. Kaga, please. All right, there's some sort of gondola here, but it seems to be locked up. According to the schematics, there are two of those panels that you can use the ray gun on. They're um at the other end of this room, about 50 feet up the wall. Well, if we win this bundle, can we program a streamer bot You're like you? One, Maybe. Probably. Honestly, probably.
Oh, interesting. Interesting. <clears throat> Tony bosses today. I just got carried to two wins at Apex. Nice. Um Uh we killed some things. We did some things. We killed um we killed uh Edward Scissor Hands. That's who we killed. Push. cool i like this i like this puzzle aspect i love puzzles can i shoot this through the fence puzzle time. no no Didn't have baby changing stations yet. I've it's hard to change Robin's poo poo diapers in here. It's a puzzle time. <laughs> I've been gone too long. It's clock. You've been gone too long. You've missed things. You've missed shenanigans. The bin doesn't change, but the bin is always changing. That's one of them. I think. We have to go and do things on the other side, I think. Take me back. No response. Incre oh. Incredible reaction. I, I, I was like, whatever. I literally think I just moved on. I was like, whatever. Next thing. So we get the bits or Twitch. The sound, the bits one, uh, I get 80% of the bit. And uh, so it's basically just an alternative for those who have bits. Like you want to support the stream with bits and you want to get something out of it. You can use the bit soundboard. Um, you can also always use your candy for sounds as well. Oh, hi, red letters. You must be new here. Never seen you before. The power stay on. Kind of curious. It, it should stay on. Otherwise, that'd be annoying. Now we're going to go this way. An anonymous cheer. What? That's so cool. What the heck? Oh my god. It has like an icon and everything. What the heck? You can I have 100% of these bits before taxes? Thank you, Stolen. I appreciate it. Whoa! Look that look at that anonymous cheer thing. That's so cool. Is it that is that a ghost cheer? Is it like a what the heck? It's all anonymous. That's really interesting. I've not seen that before. Hey, Frisk with the host. Oh my god. 
Frisk with the anonymous host. Frisk, thank you so much for the... Thank you for the host, Frisk. How was your stream? How you doing? I love your face. How you doing? How was your stream, Frisk? Anonymous here, thank you for the 1,000 ghosts. Ooh. 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 Risk of Rain has my life. Dude, everyone's addicted to Risk of Rain, and I am here for it. It's so good. I played it the other day. It's so good. Wait, what the? I love it. What's your highest I them, uh, survival I'm time? I'm gonna go see if I can power the switch and open the door to that gondola. Gondola. Terrain 2 is amazing. Yeah, yeah. I've gotten a couple people in chat addicted. What's the goal of this game? This is a... um. So, what we happy for you is a single player survival uh, exploration game. Uh, and it takes place under dystopian Britain. The 1960s. But it's kind of like... It's got a futuristic vibe to it. So this is the DLC. They they came from below DLC that just came out today. Um, there are three planned DLCs for We Happy Few. So if you check that link in chat, exclamation point WHF. You check that link in chat, it'll take you to the Steam page where you can check out uh, this DLC and the ones that are upcoming. You get the season pass if you want. Um, the base game, I've put almost 50 hours in of itself. It's really, really cool. This DLC follows um, a backstory to people that you actually encounter during the main game which is really really cool so it ties into the main game while being like a standalone uh and it is more story driven so far there hasn't been really any open worldness survival aspects to this so um we've only been playing this for about an hour and a half but right now it's, it seems like it's like more like a single player story but what's cool about this dlc is that it actually has like a puzzle theme to it too which I, i'm really digging I realized I didn't have to stop to, to explain that, but I was just, I like, I really like this game a lot. What was she thinking? And full disclosure, the stream is being sponsored by Gearbox, so big thanks to them. Uh, but I've, I've played We Happy Few since early access days, so I, I love it. I'm very grateful for the opportunity, so big thanks to Gearbox. And if you do want to check it out, you can check out that link in chat. It does help uh, for getting sponsored opportunities, so uh, feel free to check out that link in chat. What's up, Gumbo? Ride the container. Ah. We're on the roller coaster, guys. There must be some way we can talk to the robots. Maybe some of these oh, dead robots fun. aren't all the way dead. Maybe we can turn one of them back on. Don't turn any robots on. Roger, this isn't some philosophical hypothesis to, to bank on. <laughs> this is an actual fucking situation. You really have a very great contempt for me, don't you, James? No, puppy, I... You think all my theories are bollocks? Not oh, we're going in stuff. here. You can't imagine things different from the way you think they are. Bye, Greg. What the hell does that mean? You think it's safer to be terrified... Yeah, Tangerine, it's really cool. Strange, I like it a lot. And you think I'm a child for Pretty neat. trying to embrace it. But sometimes there's a bigger price for being a coward. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't mean that. I go fuck yourself, Roger. I left everything for you. Oh. Roger. Roger. Love it. Whoa! Wait, really, Frisk? Not a squirrel, a coral. <laughs> My dog's name is Tango. Duh. Ma'am, I do not mean to alarm you, but I have distressing news to report. While pursuing the source of those lifts crawled about the facility, I came across an unsanctioned portal. To my horror, I witnessed two robots.